Okay, so next up, let's go through rotations. Um, so rotating objects, let's say I want each of these objects to have a slightly different rotation. Um, so rotation, I'll just read through that. Um, and let's make sure that we do also start with, of course, select the object you want to rotate. Tap E on your keyboard for, um, oh god, uh, everybody. Everybody loves to rotate. <laughs> um, these these hockeys don't make sense. Uh, so tap tap E on your keyboard, and then you left mouse button drag any of the circles in the direction you want to rotate that object. So with this uh, cube selected, if I tap E, you'll see my manipulator handle now turns into this um, globe with colored lo colored circles. So um, the the red line. And that's, uh, again, that corresponds to this red X on my compass here. Allows you to rotate an X. Now I am just left click dragging on that line. I'm going to control Z because that was a silly rotation. Um, the blue line, and you'll see that the blue corresponds to the Z on my compass. Let's you rotate in Z. And the green line, I think you're probably getting the hang of this by now, uh, you'll see that the green corresponds to a Y on my co compass. So the green line lets you rotate in Y. So why are those letters important? You can see, um, just check out on the right hand side of my screen here, uh, this is called the channel box, that Y is updating as I rotate this cube. Um, because I am uh, left click dragging on that green circle in the middle, which is my Y. I can actually just go into Rotate Y, so I can just click on that number field and just type in exactly the rotation I want, hit enter, and it will set that rotation for me. So let's just, I'm gonna rotate each of these slightly differently. So, bow, bow, bow. So we have a bunch of rotated objects. There you go, and that's rotations. Oh, one thing I will say. Be very, very careful when rotating not to go over 360. Look at this. See where it says rotate Z? And it's like 1310. The reason why it's very care you know, it's important to be careful not to get go out of the 360 degree rotation numbers here is if you're animating it will actually, instead of rotating slightly, which is what you, you chose to do, it will go through the entire 1360 degrees of rotation. Um, so when you're actually animating, it's going to look at those numbers. So try and keep those numbers down to below, you know, 360. Okay, so... Okay, let's get into scale.